Hi, I'm Natalie from thecreativemom.com and welcome to my home. I'm excited today to walk you through one of our favorite projects on our blog. This is the permanent DIY LED Christmas lights. And in the daytime, you can't even tell they're there, right? But at night, look how cool. So on the app, you can change whatever color of lights you want on your house. So if we want blue lights, now we've got blue lights. There's also different presets and different effects that you can do. So here's what we set up for the Super Bowl. This is for Christmas, candy cane. It's so cool, right? We get a lot of questions about these lights, so I wanted to do a walkthrough of more of the technical side of everything. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the wiring, the power supply, the controller, that kind of stuff. So stick around and let's see if we can get these lights working in your home. All right, if you're new here, a couple of years ago, Casey installed these permanent LED Christmas lights on our house, and they have been so fun. We use them for Christmas, of course, but we also use them like on different holidays or game nights. We light the house up for the team colors or whatever. It is so much fun. Um, I wrote a blog post on this on my site, and it's going nuts right now. Um, and so yesterday, Casey like set everything up for me. We did a little mock setup in our living room just so that I could understand like how the controller works, how everything works, um, so that I could write a better blog post. So let me show you guys. I'm going to show you how everything hooks together because I know a lot of you guys are tackling this project this year, and I think it's so helpful to see it. Okay, so everything I have here is the stuff that I've linked on my blog. So you can see like exactly what it's going to be like when you order the stuff that I've linked. Um, there's a few different main components. The first one are the LED lights. So this is what you will order off of Amazon. These, I want to say they're like um, under $200 for about 500 of these. So they're pre pretty reasonable. They come with a male end and a female end on each um, strand. And then the female end also has these two wires. I'll talk about those in a minute. So basically these connectors just connect like one to the next, to the next, to the next. So you can have the string of lights. So the LED lights basically do nothing on their own. Like you can't plug it into the wall. Um, you can plug it into each other, but they're not going to light up until you have a, other, a few other components to help this work better. So the first one is going to be the power supply. So the power, this is going to be the only thing that's a little different than the ones I linked on my blog post. That's because this power supply only does like one amp of power. And the one I linked on my blog post is a 30 amp power supply. So this will only power about one of these strands of lights. And the one I linked on my blog post will probably do like eight or nine strands of these lights. So I linked a better power supply so that you could power the lights for your entire house. Okay, so we have the power supply, which is plugged into the wall, and this cord runs into this, which is called the controller. So this is basically like the brains of your whole system. So the power supply runs into the controller, and then the controller goes through this extension wire, which is wrapped up. And so all of that power and all the information goes through that wire down into our LED lights, and that's how our LED lights are powered, and that's how we can tell our LED lights what colors to be, what effects, how we want it to look. So then if you need more lights, you can plug another strand into the first strand, and then if you need another strand off of that, there's another plug on that end. And so that's how your lights kind of, your system kind of all plugs in together. So this is called the controller. This is the brains of this whole system. Um, you have power coming in from here from our power cable. So the power is two wires. There's a positive and a ground. And then um, in here, we have an app on our phones that connects to the controller. So our phone basically tells this what we want, like what colors. I want an orange or I want every other light to be blue <laughs> or like have it blink or whatever. Um, and our phones tell the controller that information that we need. And then the controller sends it through the wire and to our LED lights. So on our system, we have the controller and we have the um, power supply. These two components we have inside of our garage. And we drilled just a tiny little hole through the eaves of our garage. And then we have this wire run out through the eaves of our garage. And then it connects to this system. 
So all of this, the brains of it, I call this the brains, the controller and the power are inside of our home. Um, and then the wire just takes all of this information and the power and everything through this wire to the outside of our home where we have installed all the lights. So then on the outside of our house, we installed this little um, kind of like a tube here. This is called J channel. And oh my gosh, our eaves are so, look at all those cobwebs. It's Halloween guys, it's just decorations. But anyway, this is where we have those LED lights. We drilled holes and we just kind of popped these LED lights through. So if you look on the back side, you can see all of like the guts, <laughs> all of those cords. And then here, we stopped the LED lights here. He attached one of those cords like I showed you on the inside from there up um, over here to right here. And this is where our lights start again. So this is just called an extension wire here that goes where we don't want any lights to where we want lights again. Okay, I'm not gonna get too technical because this is all written out in our blog post, but basically this controller has a mini USB port right here. You connect it with a USB cable to your computer. And on our blog post, we linked um, the software that you need. And your computer basically just programs this controller so it knows what to do. Then you have an app on your phone, and this is the funnest part. You can change all of the colors, whatever you want it to be. You can have it just be like plain if you want casey says that's boring but sometimes i like boring anyway you can change it to like whatever you want here's a candy cane for like christmas isn't it so fun you can have it be rainbow and then you have these strung out like in a line so it looks a lot prettier than it looks right here but it is so so fun my kids love to just choose like different effects and see what it does cool right all right, that sums up <laughs> what I've been doing for the last few days. Um, I'd say this is a little technical. Um, that was very a very simplified version of what I just showed you. But I'd say like if you're okay splicing wires, you're the IT guy in your family, um, you aren't afraid to wire plug, that kind of thing, you could probably tackle this pretty easily. Um, but check out my blog post, everything you need to know, including all the links for these lights and everything, it's all on my blog post.